It's turning out to be another busy week on the campaign trail here in Arizona, and the presidential race in this battleground remains razor thin. As we get closer to Election Day, the campaign visits just keep streaming into Arizona with more on the way. So why so much attention here? Data analyst Garrett Archer took a closer look at those poll numbers. Arizona polling in the past week has been favorable to Donald Trump. Currently, he holds a nearly two point lead in the polling averages at 538. He leads Harris in four of five of the most recent polls ranging from plus one Harris to plus three Trump. But a quick lesson on margin of error. Take a look at this. Yesterday, High Ground released a poll showing Trump leading Harris by one point. The poll's margin of error is 4.9, and that means that either candidate could be 4.9 points higher or lower, leaving a huge overlap on who is actually winning between Trump and Harris. So and take a look at the U.S. Senate race. Even though Ruben Gallego is leading Carrie Lake by about 10 points in this poll, you can see there still is a very slight overlap between the candidates, meaning that even with a 10 point spread in the poll, there is still a scenario where Kerry Lake is winning. Error bars also apply to polling averages. So let's take a look at those in the tightest swing states of which Arizona is one. All of these, as you can see, are up for grabs. So Paul Bentz is a political consultant and pollster with high ground, and he told me the candidates need to start thinking about their closing message. And if they can close with something positive, because it's not enough to get folks to vote against their opponent, they need to get folks to vote for them. That's what those persuadables are looking for. Bence's colleague, Chuck Coughlin, told me that unlike the swing states in the so-called blue wall, Arizona has seen an influx of new residents, changing the demographics of some key areas right here in the valley. It's gone from, you know, reliably Republican to this purplish hue that, you know, votes for cinema, votes for Ducey, votes uh, for uh, Kelly and, and Biden, um, and then voted for Hobbs and uh, Kelly in this last cycle. He also points to the rise of independent voters, and both parties say Arizona is definitely in play. First thing that the vice president, Governor Walls, and the second gentleman are going to do is show up over and over and over. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is a Harris campaign surrogate. He says Harris is reaching out to all voters, not just Democrats. You see the, the vice president out there both running and governing in a way that's not red or blue. It's focused on our everyday lives. Meanwhile, Donald Trump Jr. tells us Arizona and a few others are key to his father's campaign. It's a focus on all the swing states because that's, that's where it's all going to come down to. For ABC 15's political team, I'm Manuelita Beck.